balmy summer night in the Rocky Mountains. The show comes to you from Coors Field in downtown Denver. Tonight, it's the first of three to start the new week between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Kyle Freeland is on the mound for the Rockies in this one. Dan Pleszak, what's the word on him? Former first round pick from the Denver area. This guy has really good stuff. I think he's more of a bulldog. Good fastball, 92 to 94 miles an hour. Good hard slider. That's his main go-to pitch. But you talk to anybody around this guy that knows him, he's the ultimate competitor with the top young left-handed pitchers in the game right now. Settling in now, Kermit Yellowhorse, and what a that season he's having. Entering right play, field. leading the league in Kermit. two of the three triple Yellow crown Hall. categories. Guys having a monster year, leading in two of the three triple crown categories. Top five in RBIs. If he can improve on that, he has a right legit here. shot to win the crown. All right, one more He's time. ready. Right here. Here's the first offering. Hit on the ground to third. Daly takes it in. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Again, no, Kermit Yellow White Horse. Field. 0 for 1 Kermit. for him here in this one. Yellow Horse. Hey, take a rip. Let's you First can. pitch of the at bat on its way. And he turns this one around high and down. deep to center field. Looking up is Dahl. Out of here. Into the visitors' bullpen. So it's a two-run shot to right center, and that is 27 for him on the year. And the Diamondbacks have come back to tie this one at two. This is the first home run of the game, but the bats are definitely alive for both teams tonight. There have been a ton of hits already. These pitchers might want to duck and cover if things continue this way. Into the box now, Pat Valaika. He's 0 for 1 four. after grounding Second out in his only back. trip to the plate so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 12 home runs for him now thus far. As the Rockies move out in front now a 3-2 lead. Wow, not every call is going to go your way. And there are some pitchers that pitchers think are pitchers' pitches, and you don't get that, and it puts you in a bad spot. And you can tell that it affects you. Three. 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 Ball four. Take the base. Riding in once again, Trevor Story. Trevor Story. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. That's a foul ball. Yeah. 
ready to take his hacks again. Kermit Yellow Horse, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Line drive to center field and a base hit. So the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And you can see there he currently holds the top spot on this Arizona roster in that category. At the plate, Dalton Lyons. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Dalton Lyons. Drive the deep big Doc. Here we go. The one two hit hard to short. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Another base hit for him. He's three for three. Dan, if they're gonna crack through, this has got to be the opportunity they've been looking for right here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dero? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't get a big hit here right here next and bust through in this one. The center fielder. Hey, your Gerardo pitch on it. Horror. Tries to dump this one out to left. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Riding in, Christian Walker, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The 2-2. Hit to third. Reined in. A tag for one on the first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Standing in, Kermit Yellow Horse. He singled his last time up. Yellow Horse. He's set. Here it comes. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. This is the tough guy right here to get into a double play. He's fast and he swings from the left side. So out of the box, he's going to get a good break. He might have to try to get the strikeout right here because very rarely are you going to get this guy to ground into a double play. right here. Hey, like you can up there. Working for the punch out and the offering. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the effort pays off as he's able to recover and get the second out of the inning. Three. Out. Four, four. Take the break. Three. Three. That's more four. Out. Yellow Horse will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. I'm a mess on my horror, but I've been blessed on a sword. Every bar brick and mortar can't sing, but I'm known to finesse on the court. You can't see the flow unless you use it. Hey, let her fly. Let her fly right here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Two out, nobody on. on now.
Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Obviously not where he wanted that curveball to hey, end up, but right I guess now. it fooled him enough to get the swing and miss. This is pulled into right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two-base hits this year. And we find that the Diamondbacks are currently best in the NL in that department. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Dalton Lyons, runner in scoring position with two gone. Lyons. Hit well right, come on, on the ground you're up, to first. You're up, you're up. Oh, and he can't come up with it. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. A good job that time of not giving up on the play, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Digging in and looking for more, Bradford Robinette he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And folks, this ball game is tied. Two-run blast is straight away right field as we are all tied at five. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying. The hitter's on. Three! Three! He's out! Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Diamondbacks. Stepping up now, Jim Daly. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Yeah. Daly. Heading out towards shallow right. Yellow Horse is after it. He can't get to it. This one's down. Love the approach right there to get on base with a leadoff knock to start the bottom of the 10. They don't want this game to go any farther than this. They want to end it right now. Let's see how the manager plays this. Let's play more. Lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one, and this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no question. He was a tough out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks, including a home run. So without him in the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. Seven five tonight's final. Dave Means wins out of the bullpen his ninth victory of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've the been watching MLB for The Show. For more, make your way for over the to the ShowNation.com. runs on 12 hits, no errors. They left 15 runners on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 30 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.
And it would appear we'll see a pinch hitter here as he'll try to get something started with the bases empty and two away. The right fielder, number four. Herman. Yellow horn. This is line to left. Robinette is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. But the time run comes across here so it looks like this could be a wire job. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. All tied at one and one. Kevin Coffey will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 11, Kevin Coffey. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one, the final. The Arizona Diamondbacks came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Kevin Coffey gets the win in relief, his second of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for the ballgame tonight First for the victorious Diamondbacks, six runs, eight hits, one error. They left six men on base. It's a cloudy day here in the Rocky Mountains, but we've got baseball from Coors Field in Denver. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. Get ready for Rockies baseball next. Taiwan Walker starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, his last one was good. I'm sure he'd like to pitch a little bit better. Was able to get into the seventh inning. Got a no decision in his last one. He needs to get off to a good start here to try to get him and the team in the win column. Digging in, Kermit, yellow horse, and what a season he's having. Entering right play, field. leading the league One in two out. of the three triple yellow crown horse. categories. This guy's got a big shot well, at the triple pitch. crown. That's he's leading in two of the go. three categories and top five in home runs, so that's where he needs to pick it up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Liner in there for a base hit. Not even letting the fans settle into their seats, and he's coming on glued first pitch. Nice base hit to the outfield. Stepping up to the plate, Mark Madsen. He'll get to take his the first cuts there. here. Mark Madsen. The 0 2 home. Line drive base hit. Throw comes in right, quickly from right left. So back. even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second here. That pitcher's got to be shaking his head right now. You got to tip your cap right there. I'm still always impressed when offensive players are able to come out of the zone and still be able to make hard contact. At the plate, Gerardo Parra. Great right, chance well, to drive right. in a run here the in the early going. Number eight. Gerardo. 
Hey, you pitch, you pitch right here. He's going, he's now going. both of those are breaking. Scoring, Bounces to the left side, and that's through into left, a base hit. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Hey, nice boy, way, after scoring boy. a boatload yesterday, d -Row, they're off to a fast start again, striking here in the first inning. Yeah, this offense is on fire. Obviously, the hitting meeting resonated with these guys. Scored a ton yesterday and picked up right where they left off. Play ball. Yeah! Full four. Take the base. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Batting Bradford four. Robinette. No nine at-bats in the series Bradford. and four base hits. Oh, yeah. Here we go, boys. Now the 2-1. Fly ball out toward right field. Yellow horse sprinting after it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Rockies strand one. They trail this one one to nothing. For another shot, now Kermit that's Yellow Horse. He reached on a single Perfect. in his first try. Yellow Horse. Hey, need you right here, kid. Drive something. Right guy, right spot. Come He's on, ready. Now, Here's the first offering. And Whoa. a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. The 1 0. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Nicholas, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Moving under it, Sandoval. And that's the second out of the inning. Play ball. Inning, Johnny Leon, and the they'll need him to get something going here. Leon. Now here it comes. Skied into straightaway right. Yellow horse is there, one away. What's the play ball? Three. Three. Digging in now, Kermit Yellow Horse. He flew out in his last at bat. Kermit Yellow Horse. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, and this one is hit out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. The relay throw. And he'll get in there yeah, safely. Yeah, yeah, great job right there. You squared up on that. In most sucker. parks of the league, that would be a round tripper. I mean, he hits this thing probably more than 400 feet, but he'll have to be content with a triple. Has to feel good about the way he hit it, though. Into the box, Mark now Madsen, back. runner Third in base. scoring hey, position with two go. Looking to keep this a one-run yeah. game, the pitch. Grounded to short. Walters has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. No damage done after the two-out triple. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this.
And now in the box, Edgar now Sandoval. Right he got on top of one and was Edgar. a ground out victim last Sandoval. time. Sandoval. This is in the air out to right. Yellow Horse back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Leading off the inning, Kermit Yellow Horse has to look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. Yellow Horse. They have a rip like you can. Here we go. First pitch of the at bat. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. Now here it comes. Hit hard on the out, ground to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Three, 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 three. That game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Diamondbacks jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Antonio Senzatella earned his ninth win of the year. Taiwan Walker is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. Archie Bradley closes the door for the save, his 40th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. One run, eight hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game. Two hours.